everyone, my name is Kia and today's video I'm going to be sharing Easy Peasy's level 2. So the quick rundown is that Easy Peasy is a free curriculum provider and everything is free online so you can go online you can do every single lesson for the year or however that particular course is laid out you can do it for free and um you don't have to buy anything you have the option to do offline if you would like and if you want to do the offline for the main subjects these are the books so i have here the second reader and the second reader workbook then i have the language arts workbook and the parents guide then we have the math and the parents guide so i'm going to show you each of these books just bear with me because usually when i do these videos i like to do them before we start it but this is after we start so we're using the course right now and I'm gonna have to skip a couple pages because they've been written in. I have videos from preschool, so preschool, kindergarten, first grade, or level one, and now the level two or second grade. So this is pretty much what I explained earlier. Here is the completion chart. So this is lessons one to 45, and if you wanna pause the video and screenshot it, go ahead. And then lessons 46 to 90. Then this is lessons 91 to 135 and 136 to 180. So each lesson is just one page. And I like that because I feel like, you know, second grade level two doesn't need to be doing too much work. So it's just a good amount. And of course it does have writing in it. Here are some nouns and capitalization. That's reviewing from level one. And the writing they do is more creative writing. Um, here's capitalization and punctuation. And also though it's creative writing that they do and also the um, copy work comes from the reader. So I'll just show you really fast. Here is the reader and this is lesson nine in the workbook. So if we go to lesson nine in the reader here, this is what they're copying. The, cat she walks on padded claws um, these two sentences here is what they would be copying for the day but you don't have to do the reader to do the language arts if you just want to use the language arts just use it or you know you don't have to do everything they can still practice the copy work here is ordering directions um, capitalization compound words, writing, and yeah, I'm just going to skip along a little bit just because, like I said, it's written in. Okay, here, let me just talk about the spelling. So the spelling, just one page, and they're going to go over the same page, the same words for, you know, like five days. So day one, they'll do this. Then the same words they have to find in the word search. And then this is an unscramble. This is using the picture to help find um, what the word is and the context of what's written. Then here, you can use this as a test if you would like to, but they don't do tests in this um, particular level. Um, so you can you know, do it like that if you want. Or what I did was I just had my daughter write the word. I told her what the word was. I had her write it and then I just told her to read it over and make sure it was correct and that was it okay so you see there's um, some copy work and then here they can write their own sentences but like I said let me just try to skip along here is some homonyms um, they have a lot of phonics in here this is plurals more spelling parts of speech so the level one they mainly learned about nouns and um you saw there was some noun review then they're learning now they're learning about adjectives and verbs so focus a lot on verbs in this level action verbs fun activity fishing for verbs 
verb types. Here's some writing where they get to write a short story. But you know, um, they don't have to write a lot. It's just getting them into it, like just introducing it, just getting them into creative writing and getting their thoughts on paper. So don't be afraid to do the writing is what I'm telling you. <laughs> If you use the level one, you know they had writing um, too. Here is some ordering sentences, more word search, linking verbs, ordering directions, matching past tense. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit fast because I think you get the gist of how everything is. Predicates. writing directions, possessive nouns. I don't know if you heard my daughter, they were at the park and now they're talking about where is she? They're looking for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do this video quick. So here's some um, possessive nouns, spelling, pronouns, contractions, word match. So you have the word and the definition. Okay, and then at the end, they have a final research project. And this, they get to pick whatever they want. Let's say they really like horses or dogs. So they're going to research that. They get to go to the library. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, yeah, they just research whatever they like, you know, whatever it is. And um, I did see a couple of people say, like, they skip this. But I feel like this is going to be fun. Like, you don't have to skip it. It's for... A level two kid so it's not they're not researching for their dissertation they're just doing like little stuff like they'll get a book on dogs they write a fact and write where um, you know they got that from and so this is just each day they're gonna write something different for their project so that's over a couple of um, I think over a couple of weeks like maybe it's from lesson, let's see here. Lesson 166 to pretty much lesson 179 that they're going to be researching. So that gives you plenty of time to come up with something. <laughs> and here, the last thing is verb review. And that's it for the language arts. So here is the parent's guide. And the parent's guide is basically telling you um you know what the students will be doing it's you know gives you some like little information and then the worksheet page that they'll do some days have more like instruction than other days some days like they may have like examples for you to do with your child and stuff like that so you know it depends like here, they'll have show your child these words and ask to find the letter that is silent so they can have like little examples for you. And it's just that it's just a guide to help you to guide you along with the lessons. And then here in the back are the answers to the student workbook. And that's it for the parents guide. And next I'll show you the math. So they redid their maths. So oh, you'll see it says new. I don't know how long it's going to say new. Because maybe you're looking at this years later and it doesn't say new anymore. But in 2024, it has new on the top because they updated it. And when you go um, to purchase it, you should just be purchasing this one anyway. So don't be afraid that you'll purchase the wrong one. You should be purchasing the newest one. So the layout is the same. They have a completion chart. So if you want to pause the video to screenshot it, go ahead. This is lessons 1 to 45. Here is lessons 46 to 90. Lessons 91 to 135. And then lesson 136 to 180. So this is the same thing as with the language arts. One page. And I like to use both the online and the offline because of the fun games and the different activities they may have. They may have like a video explaining something. So I do check the 
online to see and um, after we do our lesson we'll do the online to play the games to help with the math fact practice. So of course the first couple of lessons are just review from the previous year. And like I said we had started it so but I like the variety like there's a nice cool little puzzle that you can do. Um, my daughter likes that. She thinks it's so much fun. And as you can see, she likes coloring in here. So I was putting a million stickers. This is like her favorite book. <laughs> okay, here are um, place values. So tens and ones. So they have days like this where it says daily practice for the week. And the way this is, you're going to come back to this page for five days. So you're going to do the first row for lesson 26 and then this page. Then when you get ready to do lesson 27, you're going to do this page and this row. And then lesson 28 is this page and that row and so on. Here it gets into shape. Some pages you'll see are missing because we had to cut them out. Here is uh, fact families, you know, to help them memorize their facts. Um, this is mathematical thinking or like a logic activity. Word problems. So that goes on for, I think, two weeks or so. And this is getting back into place value. Then they have identifying coins, so money. Counting money, buying items, here's time, adding, subtracting tens, reading graphs. So yeah, like you're doing this reading grasp, but you're still doing your um, addition and subtraction practice. So like this day you're gonna do addition, this day you do subtraction, addition, subtraction, addition. So you just make sure you do that and then do this as well. This is um, fractions. I'll try to go a little bit faster. Um, regrouping. And then they have a let's review. They don't have any tests. Um, it's just like they have a review section here. So the review starts at 120, less level, uh, less than 120, but um, there's a few more as you go. You know, towards the end. So here's another one. And yeah, like I said, just one page, but if maybe some days you feel like your child can do two pages and you know, you work at their pace. Um, and if they are comfortable with doing more than one page, you can just go ahead and do that. Here is some length. Temperature. Rounding. Three digits, more review. Okay, so I guess you get the gist of everything. And then the parent's guide is similar to what I show in the language arts. It has it laid out here, like here, so uh, the students, what they will be doing. Then here's an activity that you can do with your children, like an example, a couple examples you can do, and then they'll do the worksheet page. And then, you know, sometimes it will tell you, like, if you need, um, like, a couple of crayons or something like that, like whatever materials you may need. And then at the end are the answers to the workbook. Okay, so that's it for the math. All right, so now this is the reader. And 
and just so you know the um the reader this physical book and the online some days they do match up but a lot of days they don't because they use the books that are in the private domain for this main book here and if you go online you'll see like some videos that they have that it may have like you know somebody reading a book but it'll be like um a Dr. Seuss book like Horton Hears a Who I think was one of them or like you know like more popular books that are not in the public domain so it can be different for each day um so you just would have to look and double check but if you're using the offline you're not going online then don't worry about it but um the reason why I say that is because you can do the audio so you know maybe you just want to for whatever reason you just want to use the audio so it may link up to um what you're what you have for the book if that makes any sense if i doesn't make any sense let me know in the comments and i'll say it again <laughs> i'll try to word it better okay so anywhere here you have lesson one they're gonna read this poem and then they have like a question about it. And that's just a layout for everything. So the beginning lessons are more poetry. Then they'll get into reading um, stories after that. So I'll just fast forward a little bit. Here's some vocabulary. And here's one of the stories. Oh, let me just tell you actually. So they do poetry, then you'll read Lily's Walk, The Adventures of Old Mr. Toad, short stories, The Adventures of Jimmy Skunk, short stories, 50 Famous Stories, The Bobsey Twins at Snow Lodge, and 30 more famous stories selections. So you can go on the website and it will tell you for each grade level what they're going to be reading. So here's some vocabulary and this is for lesson 26 this is the book um, this is the adventures of old mr. toad and this is chapter one then it'll say like what happened in chapter one and you know tell someone just retell what happened so it's this page and this page and then the next lesson will be this one and this one and you know that's just how it goes throughout so I'll just do a little flip so that you can get the gist I mean just okay I think you get it <laughs> so at the end here if I can get to it are the answers to the questions that they're asking and that's it this is the reader workbook so for this there's not a lesson for every single day and the actual reader there is a lesson every day 180 days but for this is not every day and it doesn't start at lesson one so it starts at lesson 21 and you can see that it's um, not for every single day. Here it has some activities you can do after certain lessons. So after lesson 21, after lesson 39, you can do these additional activities if you would like. All right, so here, so in the reader on lesson 21, they're gonna be reading Lily's Walk. So here's some vocabulary. And, you know, they're just going to be practicing that vocabulary with the next lessons. Here, old Mr. Toad. Same kind of thing. Spelling, vocabulary. Okay, so you see it has a variety of activities. And it's just helping the child with um, different vocabulary that they're going through in the story and synonyms antonyms homophone practice prefixes and suffixes and then at the very end you have the solutions 
So that's it for the reader. Okay, everyone. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will link everything in the description. Let me know if you guys have used this with your child. Did you guys like it? How was it? And if you have any questions, I will try to answer them as best I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.